Hello there, welcome to Architect Interview Question Series from Nale Powerhouse. Let's go on to see our next question. Question is, what are the differences between symmetric and asymmetric encryption methods? So this is an encryption related method uh, like in question, which is asked mainly like from security perspective. So you need to know why should we use symmetric encryption or asymmetric encryption. So symmetric and asymmetric encryption methods, they are like two broad categories of algorithms. So this is not like one method. It's like a category of algorithms, different kind of algorithms are there. And out of them, one is like symmetric kind, other is asymmetric kind. And they are both used to make the data secure. So symmetric uh, cryptography or symmetric encryption is a very simple one. It is like, I mean, you use a key and that key is used to encrypt the message and then the same key is used to decrypt the method message so key which is known to sender it has to be known to receiver also and that key has to be kept as a secret like i mean let's say you use that i mean all the alphabets you want to like you know, instead of a you use b instead of b you use c so this kind of encryption you try to do and that is a key for that that you're moving by one and same key has to be known to the receiver so that they can decrypt it. Now there is a big challenge here that like uh, how can we share that key? So it looks very efficient because same key is used to like uh, encrypt and decrypt but how would you send a key from sender to receiver? How both the sender and receiver would know this is the key they have to use. This is one of the biggest challenge of symmetric encryption because when you're transferring the key then if somebody else gets a hand on those keys then here all encryption is of no use so that is the main challenge of symmetric encryption and the biggest benefit of symmetric is that computation is easy and faster so now we go into the asymmetric in asymmetric cryptography this was a very good technique that was developed here we use two keys one is public key and other is private key so the sender he is encrypting by the public key and then receiver can use the private key to decrypt it but the if you see the private key is not of sender it is a private key is of receiver so receiver a has private key as well as public key so based on that it is encrypted and then decrypted so because there are two keys that's why it's called asymmetric not symmetric like one key like in symmetric, you use same key to encrypt and decrypt. Asymmetric means you use different keys to encrypt and decrypt. Now, why do we have asymmetric and why this public key is there? Basically, in public key, uh, the, there are two very big numbers who are multiplied and a product is created. And the idea is that uh, for a, such a big number, let's say 24, 24 digit, two numbers, it's uh, computationally like you know impractical to find the factors so even if like some hacker comes to know public key i mean it's not like to everybody this is a public key but even after knowing that yeah, the hackers cannot find the private key out of it that is the main basis of it so it's impractical to calculate the private key from the public key that is the key thing in asymmetric encryption now senders can use public key to encrypt the data and that is sent over the network and receiver uses the private key to decrypt. So due to this public nature of the public key, there is no need to sh say share this public key in a secure way. You can just like, you know, share it between sender and receiver. You can share this key just through like over plain channel and people can come to know that this is the public key we are using. <clears throat> so that way, the challenge of uh, sharing the key which was very difficult in symmetric encryption has gone so symmetric cryptography is very simple to implement but it's difficult to share the key that is what like the reason for it and asymmetric cryptography is also known as public key cryptography so encryption is also known from other name as cryptography or just crypto and even in our bitcoin and all people use crypto 
So asymmetric cryptography is nowadays very popular as well uh, on the internet, especially on the internet, you have sender and receiver who want to share the key, but they don't know how secure is the net. So they just use the asymmetric one and send the public key. And mainly digital certificates from certificate authority, CA, they also use a lot of this asymmetric encryption. So in uh, symmetric uh, encryption, the encryption key that symmetric uses is a single key that has to be shared and the asymmetric uses a pair of keys which is public and private and symmetric encryption is quite an old technique i mean it has been like uh, maybe thousands of years old people may knew this thing like how to encrypt and decrypt whereas asymmetric is relatively new encryption method it's not so old like i mean less than 100 years old kind of a thing and key sharing in asymmetric encryption it was created to solve the inherent problem of uh, securely sharing the key in symmetric encryption method so key sharing is simpler in asymmetric and it also eliminates the need to share the key by using a pair of public private keys from performance perspective asymmetric encryption is relatively still slower than the symmetric encryption but still it is more widely used uh, because of the uh, many benefits that we get out of asymmetric encryption that's all in this topic and uh, do read our more watch our more videos which are on uh, different topics in the architect interview series and system design and if you still have any questions post your questions in comments in the comment section thanks for watching and have a great day